Good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us for worship today, Sunday, May 31st, Pentecost Sunday. It is also Youth Sunday. I am super excited for all the youth have done to prepare this amazing worship experience for us today. Huge, huge gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the youth out there who participated, all the parents and family who helped them record and make sure everything was uploaded properly. Thank you, thank you. So many hands went into offering up this worship experience for you all today. So thank you to our amazing youth. You will even hear a variety of youth say in different languages during our Acts reading this line that says, I am filled with the Holy Spirit. On Pentecost Sunday, we are reminded of the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit that is given to each of us, that lives within us, that guides us, dwells with us. And so during that Acts reading, pay attention. You'll see a moment where several different youth in different languages offer up this verse of, I am filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, youth, for offering up your gift of language. Also, many gratitudes to the brave youth who have participated in our collective sermon experience today. So the youth were asked to ponder and share how they are experiencing the Holy Spirit in the world amongst them. You'll hear in the gospel passage that Jesus says that the, the Holy Spirit is to flow like a gushing river of water from one another and to be out in the world. And so they get to share a little bit of their insight and I am so excited to hear what they have to say. So thank you youth for this wonderful offering. A few things to note as we begin our worship together. Of course, as always, you can find the full bulletin for this liturgy on our website www.allsaintsmd.org. You can find a plethora of resources on our Staying Connected page. Worship, formation, fellowship, ways to get plugged in, safe and secure ways to donate, to continue to give of your pledge or make special offerings. Thank you for your continued giving of your time, your talent, your treasure, your work, your wisdom, and your wealth to our community during this time. It is so much appreciated and needed. We, as we as a community, begin to imagine reopening and gathering once again in person. We would really love your input. This past week, we've sent out a very quick and short survey. And if you could just take a moment, if you haven't already, to complete that survey. There is an easy link found on our website. It was in the email this past week. Just take a moment, fill out the survey. We'd love to know what are you thinking? Where is your comfort level? How are you participating right now? How are you being nourished and fed? And what level of engagement are you interested in offering as we look towards reopening? We also are looking on the horizon towards camp. So of course, unfortunately, we are not able to hold camp as usual that last week in June, right? We already know this. We're not gonna have that in-person experience at Claggett, hopefully next year. But we are very excited to say that we're having our virtual VBS. Virtual VBS has already been announced July 13th through the 17th, that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We will be gathering on Zoom as a community to have chapel, to offer up um, a set for a tone for that day, and to join in several activities. Prior to camp, we're going to be offering home bags so that everyone can be working on the same activities at home um, and having this mutual camp community experience. So please, 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 please register. Register today. Register today for camp. Uh, it's super easy. Go on our website. It's on the Staying Connected page. It's on our home website page. You can probably also find links in Remind as well as on our Raising Saints page and Facebook. Uh, make sure to register. We need your registration information for adult volunteers, youth, children, any age children, right? We don't have a minimum age this year since it's virtual and you'll be at home with your family. That way we can get home bags for made for everyone. We can all participate. Registration ends tomorrow, June 1st. So please, please, please register. There are so many other ways to participate in this community through the phone tree, through outreach, so many varieties of ways to stay connected. I hope that you're able to find a way to plug in, to stay connected, to stay calm, and to stay church. 
Now let us center ourselves. I'll try to calm my excitement a little bit and let us allow the youth to lead us in worship. Holy God, you are always with us. Open our eyes to your presence. Beloved God, as we gather in your presence, guide and stir us with your Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit, in Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Christ be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. Let us pray. O God, who on this day taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them to the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. <laughs> Ich bin el Wort von Heiligen Geist. Estoy lleno con el Espíritu Santo. 
Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one had heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these Galileans who are speaking? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language, Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and the residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show potents in the heavens above and in signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the great and wide sea, with its living things too many to number, creatures both small and great. There move the ships, and there is that Leviathan, which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good things. You hide your face, and they are terrified. You take away their breath, and they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created. So, and so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in all his works. He looks at the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, 
Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he has said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive. For as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Hi, my name is Shelby Gibb, and I'm a part of the youth group at All Saints, and I've been a member at the church since I was born. So this week for the youth service sermon, some of the youth answered a question, and after hearing our answers, we encourage you to ask yourself the same question. How do you see or experience the Holy Spirit flowing from others as rivers of living water? I saw the Holy Spirit in Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray was a member at All Saints and he recently passed this past week. Whenever I was with him, whether it was at church, at camps, on birthdays, any other place, I always saw the Holy Spirit in him. He always made sure that we knew that we were loved by him and by God. And even though he won't be with us anymore, we'll always feel him with the Holy Spirit. Here's how some of the other youth answered the question. I feel the presence of the Spirit from my family when we're sitting down for dinner all together. We always light a candle and it feels like we're inviting God into the house. I see the Holy Spirit through other people when they're doing what they enjoy the most and they're living up to their full potential and improving on that. <laughs> I see the Holy Spirit through other people like during this time um, you can see everybody coming together and it's like with like the river there's like a concept of like positivity and it just gives you reassurance that you know things are eventually going to get better and um this isn't this isn't forever you know we believe in god who loves us and wants us to love each other this is our God. We believe in Jesus, who cared for children and held them in his arms. He wanted a world where everyone could live together in peace. This is Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who keeps working with us until everything is good and true. This is the Holy Spirit. We can be the church, which reminds people of God because we love each other. This we believe. Amen. As we begin our day, guide us with the Holy Spirit. As we pause this morning, guide us with your Holy Spirit. As we do the work you have given us to do, guide us with your Holy Spirit. For all places of need in this world, guide us with your Holy Spirit. In trusting you, O God, to care for your children, guide us with your Holy Spirit. As we seek your holiness, guide us with your Holy Spirit. Let us offer our own prayers. As we reflect the presence of your Spirit, let us share your presence with others. Holy One, you planted us by a living water, that we might be rooted in righteousness. You call us to be holy as you are holy. You gave us your, your Spirit of wisdom to abide with us. Assured of your love and presence, help us cast aside all fear, so that we may love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. At this time, we invite you to exchange the peace amongst those around you, either in your household or send a text message to those who are dear in your heart or on your mind. You can even comment on social as a way to exchange the peace in our broader community. Peace be with you. Now we would like to take a moment to recognize all of the graduates in our midst. Send a huge congratulations to everyone who has graduated or is about to graduate. Whether it's pre-K, kindergarten, elementary, middle, high school, college, graduate, postgraduate, certificates, trainings, whatever it is, you have worked so hard for this. Congratulations and enjoy celebrating this special time, even amongst the social distancing. Take a moment to celebrate. So congratulations to all of our graduates.
each Sunday, we gather at the table in one of the homes of our All Saints community. As we are unable to gather around the altar in the church building, your table becomes our altar. Thank you for inviting us into your home. May we discover that our church without walls has many altars in the world. To acknowledge our inability to share the sacrament of communion in bread and wine, an empty cup and plate are on the table to signify our hunger re to return and end our fast. When we return, we will celebrate resurrection at the Lord's table and be fed by God's hand. As our Savior Christ taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the bread and wine. I love you above all things and long for you, my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. While we long to receive the sacraments of Christ's body, we become the sacrament of Christ's body. Let your lives be manna to feed our hunger for communion. The love we share becomes bread for the world. On this Pentecost Sunday, as we prepare to go out into the world, receive this blessing that you may carry the Holy Spirit with you and offer a hearty amen at each of the petitions. May Almighty God, who enlightened the minds of the disciples by pouring out upon them the Holy Spirit, make you rich with her blessing, that you may abound more and more in that spirit forever. Amen. May God, who sent the Holy Spirit as a flame of fire that rested upon the heads of the disciples, burn out all evil from your hearts and make your hearts to shine with the pure light of God's presence. Amen. May God, who by the Holy Spirit caused those of many tongues to proclaim Jesus as Lord, strengthen your faith and send you out into the world to bear witness to him in word and deed. Amen. And may the blessing of God, parent, child, and breath of life be upon you and among you this day and always. Amen. Resilient faith. Alleluia, alleluia.